we're going to see if we can have some fun around here today. Good Saturday morning. No, nah, not yet. Good Saturday morning, guys. Welcome to Exit Strategies Radio Show. I am your host, Cole J. Millett, broken owner of Exit Realty Group in beautiful North Charleston, South Carolina, guys. Hey, if this is your first time listening to the show, whew, you are in for a treat today. Guys, our mission here at the show is very simple. That is to empower our community, the African-American community, through financial literacy and real estate education, guys. We are legacy building. That's what we do. When you're out there in the streets making those things happen, guys, please, please, please use the hashtag legacy building and let people know what it is that you're getting done. Most importantly, what it is that you're putting down. That's how we get it happening around here. So look here, guys, I'm excited today. Now that mess around left me in this booth here alone today, but we've been working, working and working to stack some guests. So I'm very excited about an upcoming run of our guests that we're going to have on. We're integrating some new technology to, to make this show, in my opinion, um, you know, a little bit more efficient for us to operate, but most importantly, a bit more effective for us to share and get that content out there to you. We appreciate you guys following us. You can follow us on Facebook. Um, guys, we have our, our page there, Exit Strategies Radio Show. Um, we post um, videos from the show um, on, on there along with other content. Please, please, please share that message with others. Um, sometimes what we're talking about, guys, on air is for you. There are times, other times, that it's not. It's for somebody else that you know. So, guys, we're very, very, very excited again about what it is that we've been working on, what we're working to do, and most importantly, about this mission that we've been given um, to be grassroots in our community, guys, to be out there in the streets, hand-holding in the field with you, talking with you, encouraging you, inspiring you, motivating you, everything that we can do to give you information and access to the life that you guys want guys we want to help you become a homeowner we want to help you move on to the next thing if that it is what it is that you're trying to get done does that make sense if it does look here i want you to look at your radio and i want you to nod that's what i want you to do so you can find this again on facebook guys exit strategies radio excuse me there um please 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 look for our content, guys, um, we're working on that Instagram page. We're working to kind of expand our social media presence, shift up some other things that we've been doing. Um, we also find us on YouTube. We got a channel there, Exit Strategies Radio. So please make sure that you guys work with us. Take a look at what it is that we're doing. Because again, we are very, 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 very excited about what it is that we've been working on. Um, I want to give some quick shout outs. Um, you know, to our listeners, the folks that, you know, turn the radio on for us on Saturday mornings. Um, some of y'all run crosses by accident. It's all right. Because look here, I don't think there's anything accidental about it. It's intentional. It just wasn't your intention. It was the intention of something bigger, something greater sometimes. So I want to give a shout out to those who intentionally have been turning us on, who've been listening, who's been helping us spread and share this message. I want to give a special shout out, excuse me, to Pastor um, Vanderbilt Evans Sr., um, you know, I always joke about that um, for you guys that know me and know how I am with him. Love that guy. He's an awesome man of God, um, but he's just an awesome human being. I want to give a shout out to him. Um, he listens to us um, over there at um, Resurrect Resurrected um, Life Ministries in Jesus Christ over there on um, on Reynolds Ave. Again, want to give a huge shout out to him, his congregation. Um, you know, you guys listen. And, and most importantly, you know, you work with us, encourage us, and we also work with you. And hopefully we encourage and motivate you guys over there as well. So I want to spread that. I want to share a shout out, you know, to, to Matt with Prime Cuts um, and his beautiful wife, Flo, um, who listened to us. Um, you know, you guys rock. They want to, you know, give a shout out to the McQueen family as well, who listens to us. Burt McQueen, BM Construction, one of our partners um, who turns the radio on for us. Shout out to them guys over there who putting in that work, that labor of love, if you will, into this construction, because that's what this thing here is about, guys. Look at this weather ain't been friendly out here to you. Sometimes the rain has been getting us. We've been having that flood. Um, you know, a little, little light come on, a little alert come across your phone. But guys, look here. For what it's worth, we want to make sure that you guys are safe out there. So trustfully, you haven't had any real issues. I want to give a shout out um, to one of our listeners who um, unfortunately just kind of had a little slight hiccup 
um, on yesterday and kind of, you know, made that thing go off the road when it wasn't supposed to. But thank God, thank God, they all right. So we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna hover on that. We're gonna move on to the next thing, but want to give a special shout out um, to them who listen, um, you know, and, and, and know all things are well. That car, that car mend up, you know, get it rubbed up on the side a little bit. It's all right. And we'll move on. Look here. It has been an incredible week. Hope you guys had an amazing fourth. Um, guys, we're into smack dab into the month of July. We're looking at um, our dates for upcoming events. We got our Hollywood um, Home Buyers Club second sessions that we're going to be doing down there um, this coming Saturday. So not today, guys. We're going to be down there next Saturday at 11 a.m. And we're going to be down there with a second session of this um, home ownership um, uh, of a program that we're working on to walk people through again this process of home ownership you know step by step bit by bit and we're gonna make it all the way through that's how we're gonna get it get it cracking that's how we're gonna make it happen so shout out to those people down in hollywood who've come out if you're interested in being a part of our hollywood home buyers club um again this long term we're you know coming out once a month and doing a session on um on specific subjects and kind of walking people through um, you know what they need to know. You know, we started obviously with you know kind of the general basic definitions and the importance of having um, good credit. You know, and, and and started to introduce some of the things um, that are necessary to order to do so. So we're gonna drill into that a little bit more with the second session, and then obviously we kind of progress forward. Guys, will be working on some other subjects and and, and associated with this entire process of home ownership. You know, we're working to help people be. Um, not just the average consumer of, of, of home ownership, but an improved consumer, if you will, of home ownership that's very important to us and what we want to do. So we're very, very, very excited about it, guys, and we want to make sure we get that message out. So if you're interested, if you are interested in being a part of the Hollywood Home Buyers Club, all right? Hollywood Home Buyers, that's the HHBC that we got going on down there. Guys, we want to hear from you. You can give us a call at the office, 843-619-3005. Again, 843-619-3005. Guys, you also give a shout, Hollywood Town Hall, guys. They'll get you directed over to us as well. So if you live in the area, just, you know, maybe you ain't got time to pick up the phone. You can swing by Town Hall. They keep a waiting list down there for us, an interest list that they get over to us. So please make sure that you you know, reach out, let them know so they can get that information over. We're very, very excited. You know, we want to help people in that community, you know, become again, owners of real property and not just the possessors thereof um, through a rental situation. We want to help you guys, you know, take that leap over um, if you will. So that's very, very important to us. And we're very, very excited about it. Guys, we are, you know, working on our, our upcoming um, Heroes Workshop. You know, it's been quite active out there in the streets. The weather obviously has interfered a little bit with us, not a lot, but just a smidgen. But we rescheduling our home buyers workshop that we're doing for our local heroes. Um, I talked about that rather extensively um, last week or the week prior, you know, just kind of giving that introduction into, okay, hey guys, this is what our heroes program is. If you know somebody um, that fits it, by all means, please let them know. So we in turn can get them engaged we can start working with them trying to help them through a process again service guys has its reward and we want to make sure that we are being of service to those who do so much in service to us all right so please help us share that message if you know a local hero they can visit our website exit low country heroes again exit low country heroes.com if you don't know if you are a hero maybe you want to find out you know Take a, go take a look as at Low Country Heroes um, to see the benefits of, of being a local hero with us. If you got questions, obviously you can call us as well. That's 843-619-3005. Uh, you can give our office a call and just ask for more information about our Home for Heroes program and whether or not you qualify. Um, you know, we're excited. You know, our, our heroes, local heroes have been receiving rebates. Um, we've been averaging our rebates um, about 23, 2400. We want to get that up a little bit. I want to see our heroes getting rebates above $3,000 after closing. We're excited to be able to do that. So we want to make sure that we focus on and drill down on what it is that you guys need to be doing. OK, what is it you can do? Um, so, you know, for those people, you know, for my partners, for, you know, my, my colleagues who are out here beating the pavement and, and, and talking to folks face to face, 
you know, belly to belly, as we sometimes say in the business, I want to give a kudos and shout out to them. I'm going to give a special shout out to um, Shakima Chapman. Um, she probably, um, you know, is, is probably going to, um, you know, kind of be like, wait a minute, what? Yeah. Um, she's doing a, a home buyer workshop here coming up pretty soon based upon her book, Possess the Land. Um, you guys should check her out for sure. Um, Shakima is an awesome professional, um, a strong and powerful woman of God. Um, know her, you know, have known of her, know her, worked with her, served with her for a number of years. So all around from one side of the gamut to the other. So I want to give a shout out to her. I want to give a shout out to Sarah Coleman Lee. Um, she's another beating the pavement out here, her and her daughter, Jesse. Um, beating the pavement out here in these streets, helping people with their real estate needs. Powerful, powerful testimony, powerful spirit um, that she possesses. You guys should know her as well. You should know Cherie Washington, her husband, Albert. But, you know, Re, as I like to call her, them my peoples right there. Y'all need to give her a holler. And look here, I ain't going to blast out and give a phone number out today. But y'all need to look her up. Um, she's out there again with a commitment to serving people. Guys, look, I know we always say, you know, we always talk about what we're doing, but I want to let you know there's a lot of good real estate professionals out here in these streets, out here hustling, out here making these things happen. And some of these people, guys, to be very direct about it, y'all need to pick up the phone and call them sometimes too. It's all right. It's all right. Because the boy ain't going to be mad with you. Because what I know, what I know is that we want to serve y'all, you know, and, and in order for us to do that, we have to be able to get you good service at any point in time. So sometimes it's me, sometimes it's them, but that's fine. It's okay because we want to make sure we help people. And that's what this thing is about. I've learned in my life, guys, you get more, the, more <laughs> you get more by giving. That was a word right there and a reminder for me. You know, see, what y'all don't know is your boy's been carrying on this, this, this prayer. I ain't closed this prayer out yet that I started with yet this morning. And this thing has been open as I've kind of went throughout my day and, and kind of thinking about and working on particular things. And I've had this prayer that's been open, this prayer that's been open of patience, of peace, you know, of, 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 of wisdom. And these things have just been kind of kind of coming to me. And, and, you know, guys, you know, we do this show completely unscripted, completely unscripted. That's what we make sure that we do. But we are always excited about the opportunity to bring information to you guys. That's we're always excited about that. So look here, guys, look here. We're coming up on that first break, guys. I'm 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 a I'm a do do you guys a huge solid and I'm gonna come back on script and on tangent next time. But look here, if y'all would, y'all just grab a pen and some paper, because we might have to write down some dates. I need y'all to 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 get close to the radio when you come back so you don't miss nothing. And I need y'all to make some of these notes as we go forward, guys. This is what this thing here is about. All right. So guys, look here, you listen to exit strategies. Y'all hold on a second. We're going to be right back. All right, Joe, this is your break right here. And we are back, guys. Exit Strategies Radio. Guys, I'm your host, Colin J. Millette, broken owner of Exit Realty Low Country Group in beautiful North Charleston, South Carolina. Guys, hey, if this is your first time listening to the show, guys, you are most certainly in for a treat. Our mission here on this show is quite simple. That is to empower our community, the African-American community, through financial literacy and real estate education, guys. We are legacy building. Again, we are legacy building. So when you out there in those streets, guys, making those things happen, when you're doing those things that we sometimes love and like to do, look here, when we're making those big power moves and making those things happen, I want y'all, when y'all hit social media with it, I want y'all to do me something very simple. I want y'all to hit a hashtag with that thing and make it say legacy building, because that's what we do. We want to encourage you. We want to inspire you. We want to help you move from one place to another. 
But most importantly, guys, we just want to be with you along the way. So, guys, please make sure that you do those things and do it well. So, guys, look, before the break, guys, we're kind of on a tangent. Y'all have to forgive me because you know how your boy gets sometimes. We kind of drill down and focus on, hey, this is what life is. This is how these things happen. And we sometimes get bogged down in that conversation. But I don't want to, you know, let this show go by without hovering and focus on a couple of things. So I'm, I'm going to share with you guys, um, you know, kind of a little bit of information. Excuse me. Um, a, a little bit of information and, and just an idea to spark thought. And oftentimes, one thing that kind of, you know, uh, factors into a, um, a home purchase, especially nowadays, guys, is student loan debt. We hear that oftentimes. We're, we're talking about you know, uh, student loans, uh, you know, someone comes out of school and they're saddled with a significant amount of student loan debt. And how does that student loan debt factor in or fit into um, their home purchase? How can we make those things happen? So, you know, obviously this is not something that's just happened. Um, you know, we've been experiencing this within our industry for, to be very direct, quite some time. And I'm going to share with you, you know, obviously as we, you know, work through the industry, we, we work to become if you will, more resourceful. And in turn, we spend time trying to figure out, well, how can we work this out? Or how do we work these other things out? Um, so I wanna, I wanna plant a seed. This is not necessarily today anything that you guys need to, I guess I'll say that you, that not anything that you per se should rely heavily on, but I wanna, wanna kind of give you an idea where, where this thing may go. So let's say that you are, and I know that some of you are, um, you know, you went to, went to school, went to college, um, you took on student loan debt in order to do it, and now you're at a place in life where you want to purchase your own home. So you're looking and saying, okay, well, look, how am I going to be able to do that? You know, I have, I don't know, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 student loan debt. I have, you know, payments, you know, under my repayment plan that or my payment plan, if you will, that you know may have me making a payment of two, three hundred dollars a month, and I'm trying to you know get that to fit into my debt ratio. I want to purchase this home, and I can't qualify for the home that I want because I have car payment, credit card payments, and now I have these student loans that I need to pay off or work on as well. How do I get that all to fit in? Um, is definitely a question. You know, what is it that I need to do? Now, obviously, when you're working with a lender, the lender is trying to figure out. Okay, you know what? Well, we might be able to do this. So now they're trying to give you ideas and so forth and so on to make it work or to make it fit. Excuse me. Um, you know, let's let's go back to your student loan company and see if we can get the debt consolidated, get you on a uh, perhaps in uh, what we refer to as an IBR, which is an income based repayment plan so that we may be able to get your payment lower to get you to qualify. Um, and that yeah might be a good idea. You never know. But what happens if it is not the right idea? What is it that you guys can do? So a neat thing or interesting, I mean, it's not neat at all in all actuality, but an interesting thing is that if you have an income-based repayment plan um, and it puts you at zero, what I found is that a number of lenders, even though the payment is zero, they can't use a zero. They have to have a number. So if it's a zero, then what they're doing is they're taking 1% of that loan balance and then plugging that in as a monthly payment in order to calculate what your debt ratio is, would, or otherwise should be. Now, this is where it gets to be, quote unquote, problematic. It becomes problematic when you have a student loan debt of $20,000, $30,000, but your debt ratio doesn't allow you to put or drop another monthly payment of two to $300 in it as well as still qualify for the home that you're looking at. And guys, we've had these conversations and not that we won't have them again in the future, but you know, we've talked about debt ratios. We've talked about, you know, how lenders look at it. You know, usually when we have our lending partners in, you know, we kind of have this um, you know, conversation about, you know, your loan programs and what kind of uh, you know, what what debt ratio you use. And a debt ratio is your income versus the amount of debt. Um, so that, or vice versa, the debt versus versus the income. So we refer to it as DTI, debt to income. It's a ratio, it's a percentage. So there's a rule of thumb, if you will, roughly about a third of your gross 
So you take your gross monthly income, guys. So this is where you need your pen. Pull out your calculator and calculate what your growth month, gross monthly income is. So that's a number. So let's add up your revolving debt payments. So your revolving debt payments, we need to make sure we get all that up. That's credit cards, not light bill, telephone bill, not those monthly obligations per se, but the revolving debt, the credit things that you pay. So um, your credit card payment, car payment, any loans, all those things, those things factor into accounts that you have open, those kind of things factor in. But then now we got to fit a housing ratio in as well. So rule of thumb is that a housing ratio, guys, should be roughly about a third of a third or less, obviously, of your gross monthly income. So if you make a thousand, roughly, not exact, guys. Again, housing ratios, 31, 32, 33 percent. I've seen I've seen them higher. There are, there are exceptions. So let's not get into the weeds as far as that goes. But just keep in mind and bear in mind that there's a number a ratio. Affordable housing ratios, they like to see you 27, 29%. So they like to see you a little bit below 30%. But again, let's take a look at it. Let's see where we are. But let's first calculate that. So once we've calculated that, now, now we get into this, okay, you know what? Let's do this. So your housing ratio has to fit. The next thing that we want to add on to that is the total debt. So the rest of the debt, you pile that up with the housing payment. And you calculate that the same way against the um, total income. That is your total debt ratio. And your total debt ratio ideally should be 41 to 43 percent or less. OK, some programs allow up to 45. USDA allows up to 45. Um, sometimes there are exceptions. Again, we're not going to get into the weeds about it. But that is how that stuff there plays out, guys. So make sure you're working to calculate look at otherwise what it is that you may have so that kind of gives you your bearing so again where does or does a student loan payment fit into it and if it doesn't now we got to figure out a solution so i'm going to touch on this briefly and guys we're going to expand on this in the future show but what we're starting to see across the industry is creative ways to get that student loan absorbed into the purchase of the house yeah you heard it yeah you heard it so I know you're going to have questions about it, guys. We're not going to drill in it today. I do want you to call us so we can answer some of them. And guys, we're coming up on this break here in a second. But I wanted to kind of throw that out there to you because we're starting to see in our industry where student loan debt is able possibly to be absorbed into the home purchase. Now, isn't that a game changer? Yeah, I know it is. So what if you are someone who has a student loan? What if you have this debt? and you still want to purchase a home, how can we figure out how to get that into a purchase? Huh? Yeah, I know. So we're going to we're gonna talk about that. So again, give us a call. We'd love to include you in that conversation, obviously. But give us a talk, uh, a reach about that. Let's figure out what we may be able to do because you never know. Now, granted, everything ain't set in stone and we're not significantly down that path, but we definitely are on, on the way. All right. So, guys, look, we just got that signal, guys, that next break. You've been listening to Exit Strategies. Hold tight. We'll be right back. All right, Joe, this is the second one. Guys, we are back. Final segment, Exit Strategy Radio. I am your host, Colin J. Millett, broken owner of Exit Realty Group, MT4, North Charleston, South Carolina. Guys, hey, the show today has been kind of a whirlwind. I want to point out, first and foremost, um, our upcoming workshops. Um, make sure that you guys sign up for that. Um, you know, come out to our Home Buyers Club down in Hollywood next weekend. Guys, we're excited about it. Visit Exit lowcountryworkshops.com exit i'm sorry exitworkshops.com again exitworkshops.com for all of our upcoming classes all of our upcoming um events um guys so you can be a part and in the know and party to what it is that we're doing guys um we're very excited about 
where we are halfway into the year. And I'm, I'm going to share this with you um, as something in closing today that I shared with my agents over the past few days. Coming out of this past weekend, guys, you know, the realization set in. Half the year is gone. So whatever goals, whatever things it is that you came into this year with, whatever ideas that you may have had, whatever goals or things that you may have had coming into the year, guys, we're halfway in. So halftime, as I said to my agents, is over. We are no longer, we are no longer playing the game that we played the first half of this year. Can't do it. Because now we're at a time when it is time for us to hit this field and make everything happen that we did not make happen in the first half. So halftime, guys, for you is officially over. Whatever goals, whatever dreams, whatever ambitions that you came into 2019 with, if you're not on a clear path or trajectory to hit that goal, now is when you must change your course. It is time for you to pick up and make this thing go. Guys, I cannot say to you enough. I cannot stress to you enough that now is your season. You want home ownership? Let's go it. You want to start a business? Let's go at it. Now is your time. So don't wait for someone else to make the leap for you. You have to make the leap yourself. I want to give a shout out to my partner, guys, in closing today. Um, you guys need to visit, check out her website, search website. That is arhopkinsproperties.com, guys. Make sure you guys take a look. Make sure you check it out. We're ready to serve you. Most importantly, we are here to serve you. Y'all make it a phenomenal week, and we'll catch y'all on the other side. All right, guys, we got another one through. So y'all make it a phenomenal week. We're excited about what it is we're doing. Most importantly, we're excited to serve you. Let us know if we can be of any help or assistance. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.